men are carrying that Jezebel perverted spirit, behaving like he you know, is on menstruation when a man don't go for period. Hello, my boy. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you, when they come here, they want to look for that uh, Galatians. Is it Galatians? Always looking for scripture. Oh, my sister, please, can you not wear trousers? The Lord said, cover your spiritual eye. And my trousers is not sexual seduction. And when I come to the altar, before you can tell me what you think you see, I come to see the king. The king is the one who checks me. And it's not rude. That's why we're encouraging you people to carry Holy Ghost and receive the Holy Spirit from God. Because you waste our time and you're tiring your generation, sending them to hell. But you will not send me. You see that video where I'm rebuking those people on the street? You don't even see what they did. And that's why the Lord allowed to rebuke. We children of God are not weak. We have been given the power to rebuke the enemy. Stand and come up against the enemy. It's our God-given right. So if you're a woman, you have been muzzled by the call you temper and anger. The devil can only call me one thing here online. Anger all the time. But I need to ask Satan. The Lord says, don't you see other things? While you are calling me anger, Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit and angels are seated right here standing. That's why you can't come. Even on the street, you can't. And I don't face you only in private, Satan. By the power of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit in me. Even in private, in public, wherever I am, I face you. I don't fear you. And that's why you find it unbelievable. Because you have been muzzled. The Lord has set me free. He did gagami. So for those of you women who have stopped ministering, proclaiming the gospel, some of you are broken by what people have said about you. You are even afraid to approach the order. Sister, that's your own problem. They say a lot of nonsense and rubbish, take stupid, take rubbish, take nonsense about me every day here online. You think these spirits will muzzle me from praising the Lord? They better come and carry the talent out of my mouth and the Holy Ghost out of me before I stop praising the Lord. Because they are not, they talk. What they don't know is that the Holy Spirit, I'm a best friend, can't falter. When people piss me, they just allow the Holy Spirit to even go double portion, to comfort me, renew me, and rejuvenate me. Especially if you wanted me to go to anger management where the Lord did not see. Especially where you wanted me to be bitter, where the Lord did not even tell you. Especially when the Lord sees your real life, you are a very aggressive, passive aggressive, ignorant, wicked soul, and Jesus knows and sees even your thoughts. And the Lord is saying, this woman is not perfect, but you, who is even more wicked, you want to make my daughter feel low. I will show you the Holy Spirit just so that you deserve it. Ah. Me, I'm at home. You don't see me coming out here fine? Natural. You keep saying I'm looking dirty last week. Today, the Lord even decided to add extra anointing. Is your skin shining like mine, sister? Is the anointing of the Lord shining upon you, Jezza? That's why I call you Jezza. Look at his skin, my sisters. Only that's real. They get saying that they lie. <laughs> you suffer your life. You still cannot even achieve one compliment. And the E is, I'm telling you, when they say the Lord and hand upon your life, <laughs> they go begin to wonder. What are the enemy? So tell the devil is a liar. And those of you who put makeup and say that saving God does not mean that you have to stop taking care of yourself. Actually, I'm not even taking care of myself. The Lord takes care of me. He covers me in his holy garment. He searches me from the in and the outside. Oga, today I'm speaking Britino American English because I've got a board to pick with Idris and this her sister Beverly. I will slap all their face. Holy slap. Oh yeah, and the Lord, he clothed me in holy garment, as I say. He fills me up with his word and his Holy Spirit and fire. He revives me and rejuvenates me and washes me every morning in the blood of Jesus Christ. And then he applies the anointing on my skin. He pours it and he smears it everywhere so that it, may, it can pour all the way like the hair of Aaron down to the beard all the way to the collar rocks. Right there where the Lord restored Mount Zion, everlasting love, peace, contentment, joy, love, and happiness. <laughs> Brother Elvin, I'm speaking American English. You get it? <laughs> Sometimes you have to come up with American English to make your 
Let me say, oh, my bro. To make your enemy tired, let them reach this river. <laughs> if they grab this river, we'll see them. <laughs> so, if you think that I'm not taking care of myself, because actually I see those comments a lot. Just because you're a woman of God and you're serving God does not mean you shouldn't take care of yourself. Sis, excuse me. Even the Lord himself knows that the pairs of pants I'm wearing right now would be Levi's. How am I not taking care of myself? I have good quality clothes and it's not even about brands. That's why people are food. My sisters, excuse me, and brother Elvin, I just want to ask you, didn't the Lord do well? Am I not fearfully and wonderfully made? There is nothing wrong with me. And if I come tomorrow with my hair not combed, it's also a style. It's for my father. Because this hair grows out of that scalp, scalp exactly like that. So I am love the hair when it's combed like this. But I am also love the same hair that the Lord fearfully, wonderfully made and chose for me to grow out of this hair. When it's chagrined, the more chagrined, the more I appreciate it, my God. Excuse me. I hope I'm understanding somebody. So to all of you women who have been muzzled, you are running to save Jesus. And all of you are saying that I don't take care of myself. It's a lie. And that's why when I come to you and I tell you that you're a false witness, you better repent. God will slap you. You can only tell me I don't bath and take care, of, take care of myself. If you were there to see that I didn't bath. But even the heavens, the angels, the Lord, the king himself, he sees your friends bathing. Just because they didn't put makeup does not mean they didn't bath. And that's really low and an insult. Hello? Am I lying or am I telling the truth? The truth is set all of us free, not my word, the Lord's word. So, as I say, my sister, don't let nobody remove you from the presence of the Lord. Don't miss the presence of God because your friends are making you feel low out you. And all of you who see dirtiness out of me, no problem. I want to encourage you, sis. The Lord loves you and he loves me. And as much as you see no cleanness, I'm dirty, I want to tell you, you never have to deal with me. You don't even have to feed me, not in a rude way. You don't even have to sleep in bed next to me. I'm Papa Rockefeller's problem. You understand what I mean? And no matter what, let the devil not lie to you and bring enmity between you and me, sis. We are both daughters of God. Different path, different uh, uh, times in our path and journey of salvation with God. I used to do makeup too. But I stopped and I gave it up because the Lord revealed and opened my eyes. I'm not going to force you. But when you see me like this, I just want to tell you, sister. My sisters, I don't appreciate when you say I am dirty and I stink. Because I'm a grown woman, a mother, and a wife to somebody. That's not nice. And I know that the Lord would never make you tell somebody they are dirty or stinking. That's not how Jesus works. So, sis, instead of allowing the devil to bring enmity between you and me, I want to teach you a secret. If you hear something before you write it, say it to yourself seven times and then ask yourself, is God the one speaking or is it me? You understand? Or is it the devil speaking through me? And at the end of the day, it should never affect you that much that you get so angry. That you want other people to be trying to fight me for how I come out natural. The Lord says this is not wrong. So I love you, sis. And also to all of you, my brothers. The men, you're not even allowed to have a conversation with me. The moment you cross the boundary to come to me as David's wife. And tell me that I look dirty and I stink. You are a man with a wife. You sell the destiny of the children that God gave you. The Lord says you can't insult me and get away with it. It might not hurt you now, but it will get you at the right time because the Lord says you will not insult your brother's wife. You will not instigate evil and pain inside your sister's heart. And if you have a problem with somebody's wife and you really want to use the word of God and be in the practice of Jesus, Abram did not go to speak to his brother's wives directly if he saw a problem. That's why it's not in the Bible. He went to his brothers to speak to the brothers. My brother, I have a problem with my sister, this and that. And because she's your woman, because God gave a man to me, I am somebody's property. The two became one. 
I have a head over me. The Lord is the head over our, over our, our home and our marriage. But I have a husband. 